What's up everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit here to show you guys a little bit of something about this tablet that I have over here. So I know a lot of you guys have seen it in some of the videos. So we're going to talk a little bit about it today using SimHub to make a digital button box. The image may not be crystal clear on the camera, but I will show you everything that it has. We're using R Factor basically as a test tool so that you guys can see kind of what it does. You can see in the background. So right right here we do have an ignition button. It turns our ignition on on the car. We make sure we're cars in neutral. We have a starter button. We have our pit limiter button, which actually indicates and is actually flashing here on the screen as well. As well as we have a headlight button that turns on and indicates a green LED up here as well. Ignition has a green LED when it's on. We have a uh, neutral, instant neutral button, which in our factory you can do both paddles to go into neutral. We request pit stop. We have our wipers, which actually activates our wipers in speed. And then we have our traction control button, which adjusts our traction control levels. So we're going to use R-Factor 2 as a basis, but I will also talk about a set of Corsa because you can do it in a set of Corsa and stuff like that using the app SimHub. So let's get into actually looking at the SimHub app on the computer. This can be done on any tablets, phones, or anything like that. You don't have to have anything on the phone. You can just use a tablet that's connected to Wi-Fi and stuff like that. So let's go take a look at the SimHub app, show you guys exactly how I set up these buttons, how we made them, and stuff like that. We're going to turn our wipers off, turn our headlights off, turn our pit limiter off, and, uh, well, shut the car off. Killed the car instantly. So let's go take a look at the SimHub app. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll let you follow in the description box below. Let's switch this up. As you can see, we were in R Factor 2. So we're going to do this real quick. So we have ignition on. As you can see, my cluster in the game comes on. Then we have our pit limiter, which uh, starts flashing our indicators on our dash. We don't have to uh, clutch in, but we're going to clutch in. Start, stop. There we go. That's neutral. And we have headlights. And of course, we have the wipers, which uh, activate the wipers in the game by speeds. So let's go take a look at the app, show you guys how I did this. And well, so you guys can do it yourself. All right. So, Sim Hub app. All you got to go do is download SimHub off the internet. There's nothing major about it. And basically, when you want to use an app in a tablet or something, you do something as simply as do phone on phone or tablet. It'll give you a, a link that you type in on the web browser on your tablet. And then that'll take you to, it'll open the, the app up right on your tablet or phone or stuff like that. So let's talk a little bit about these button box that I've created here for R Factor 2. So as you can see, it's a lot cleaner when you're actually looking at it. Here's just a windowed mode of it. When you actually click on the buttons, they do change. Now, none of the uh, indicators or lights are flashing or anything like that because of the fact that there's nothing actually going on. It's not connected to a game, but as you can see, the uh, the you know teal hue that flashes along with the indicator lights up top will turn on when those indicators are on and when they're off as you can see the LEDs are off it's very simple to do set up these button situations and stuff like that so basically what I did is I went and I went online and I pulled up basically a PNG file of a button and I kinda made my own buttons and changed colors for my LEDs and start stops on and off and stuff like that and that's how I was able to create the button situations on how I did it so creating a button is very simple all you have to do is create a button gives you a little uh, red drop down box and then you go down here to where it says image for image pressed and image not pressed so we're just gonna do another well we're gonna do let's see what do I want to do do we have an ABS button we don't have an ABS button so let's pull in some ABS buttons by clicking on the three little icons and I think we have we have pit limiters pits ignition We'll just select some ABS. So we'll go in here and we'll find our ABS that we just dragged in. So image, ABS, and then pressed image, we're going to do with ABS blue. So you won't see the blue unless you actually test it in, say, a window mode. Then when you push it, see how it changes blue? It would do that on your tablet screen while you're pushing it. So now to get this to link to something, it's as simple as going up here to simulate key and you can pick any key you want on your keyboard so if you're ever, ever searching for something on a keyboard or you know trying to find it you know and it's hard to find for a control such as you know for 
you know, headlights or whatever, or push the talk or basically spawn the pit in, say, a set of Corsa. You can link any button to any of these keyboard commands, and that will allow you to put it in the game. So we're actually going to delete the ABS and show you. So neutral I had set as N, and my ignition and I have set as I, my starter is S, my pit limiter is L, my request pit stop is Q, my headlights is H, my wipers is W, and then we have Z and X for up and down for traction control. So once you put the commands in here and you open it up on a tablet, you go into the game and you select the command like, oh, set set button for, you know, traction control up. And you would normally on your keyboard, you'd hit Z. But you can also hit Z on the keyboard or you can actually tap the button on the actual tablet screen or phone that you're running. And then that will give it the command that anytime you touch that tablet screen, it will activate that command for Z. So now when it comes to the displays to get it to turn on and say I have an off LED and I want an on LED, it's, it's as simple as that. You do a toggle image and you create a new toggle image. We're going to make another one here just so you can see it. So we have a toggle image. We're going to go into here. We're going to go to, uh, where's my I think this is a surface mount LED. Yep, there it is. So that's my that's my LED. We're gonna make it pretty big just so you can kind of see it. And then for the toggle image on, we have the same LED but green colored. So when it's turned on, it will turn green. That's what this value is. And then to get it to go on for say a certain command, like I have this for ignition and pit limiter, each game's or every game is different. So you would go into binding components. And then you would do insert properly unless you know the commands. And so say it was the starter. So I would start typing starter. And right here is the command for telemetry ignition starter. So that's when the ignition is on. You click on it, it pulls it up. And now this light will turn on when the starter or the ignition of the car is on. This light will be on. If the ignition is turned off, the light will turn off. That's how simple it is to create like a toggled image and stuff like that. So I know a lot of people have tablets lying around, don't want to buy a button box, but that is exactly what I did. I had a tablet lying around. I wanted to make a button control on the side. So when it comes to say a set of Corsa, it's as simple as setting up a button and toggling it to a key. So you can toggle to spawn back to pits and you can even put like an, a word that says spawn pit and just tap the word as long as it's set as a toggle uh, toggle button which by using the button command over here and creating the button you just tap that you'll spawn back to pits so it's very universal and like I said some games are different when it comes to what commands you can use and there's a simple way to find out what commands can be used if you go into SimHub now SimHub is free but it is a little bit delayed you can donate a little bit of money I think it's I think the minimum is like two dollars or a dollar something like that and it goes up to full you know full speed where there's no delay in your shift times or your disp your display times or anything like that. So if you want to know what commands are available for certain games, you go to the main screen. These are all the games that are supported by SimHub, which, you know, they have Forza Horizon, you know, Forza Horizon 4, Forza Motorsport 7, Dirt, Dirt Rally, Automobile, you know, a set of Corsa, Competitive Zone, and, you know, we're using R Factor 2 right now. You can go to Available Properties and you can actually show specific game raw data. You can see what all commands are available. So you can do best lap times, you can do break, break bias, some of them are computers like damage is not supported. These are all the commands you can do for like toggle images and buttons like red line display percentage for you know it goes on and on but to do simple buttons which is this is all about it's as simple as making it built to a key. You don't have to do anything super fancy like this was the first button box that I did. Nothing fancy. It was just buttons and all I did was have them change colors when I pushed it. But I set all these to a command and as you can see neutral was set to N. My ignition was set to I. Starter was set to uh, you know S. Limiter then C and Z and D so you can set the entire keyboard up 
on basically buttons and put a little display on. So if you don't have like a stream deck or something like that to create like a button box, or you don't want to build a button box because you don't want to you know worry about wiring or having you know little circuit boards and basically building it all. This is a cheap and very easy way to do it. I say cheap because if you have a tablet lying around or an old phone or something like that, that'll work just fine. It doesn't have to be anything specific because like I said, when you go to run it in a tablet display, it'll give you the option I'm not going to do it because it'll show IP address, but you can run a windowed mode and you can put it on another screen. I just slid this off to my second screen. You put it on another screen and still use it. Or you can do a specific monitor, secondary monitor, or phone or tablet. When you click phone or tablet, it'll pull up a little box that gives you a QR code or a web address to type in on the device you want to use, a phone or a tablet. You type that web address in exactly, it'll open SimHub up on the tablet you don't need to download an app to the tablet you don't need to download an app to the phone all you need to do is have it internet access to the same internet that your PC is connected to and download the sim hub app on your PC so sim hub app is very simple to find I didn't want to actually close that I'm gonna reopen my sim hub app so sim hub is like I said very simple to find We can just Google SimHub and go to SimHub dashboard. It'll bring you right all to it. So when I said you have to, you can get a license for, get it for five, I'm not sure what it is in American right now, but it goes up to 60 FPS instead of 10 FPS. Free version sends frames a second. The paid version is 60. You pay once, you can pay, donate whatever you want, down from five all the way up to 20. You know, I think this is in Euro credits. I'm not sure. So that's how you get it you basically just go to sim hub download the version and you're good to go there's also tutorials and stuff like that that can on the app that can show you how to do stuff but creating a simple button box very simple very easy so to quickly go back and do a quick recap we're gonna go back into edit dashboard we just did create button we're gonna create another one create a button it brings out a blank box you use all the way down by images you install some images whatever you feel fit I already have some images installed all you do is do your off one start stop off and then start stop on and there's your button and then say we'll set this to simulate key S so now if you were to actually be doing it in the game when you push it or tap it on the tablet screen it'll simulate like you're hitting S on the keyboard. So if you want certain commands that are right next to you rather than trying to find your keyboard or things like that, like a push to talk, like a mic button or something like that, it's very easy to do on the side of a tablet, mount it up, or whatever you want to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little look at creating a button box with a tablet or phone that you have lying around using SimHub. I know there's probably some other tutorials out there about using SimHub, but it took me a while to figure this out, so I figured I'd bring it out to you guys, show you guys, you know, the update on the sim rig with the button box on the side. I'm gonna be doing some a lot more with it and gonna be changing some things up, adding some more buttons, maybe getting a little more fancy with my buttons, but it's definitely a cool thing to have on the side. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all of which you found in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.